things are slowly getting back to normal, let's not forget to give time for ourselves to relax and to unplug. You know, break out of the loop. What's up everybody? Gary here today with another video. Today's video, I'm actually joined with Matt and Steve and we're about to hit this local well-known trail, but all three of us actually have never uh, gone to it. So this is gonna be a first time for us to uh, check it out and something new. So uh, I'm gonna be taking you guys with us and yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. reach the viewpoint usually at this part of the video I transition to some drone shots but unfortunately while flying the drone I got it stuck badly on top of the tree so time to recover it our first recovery attempt was to try to hit it with rocks oh, oh. <laughs> my arm's not strong enough oh. it's a good way to get a better arm there you go Can you, you you can't try and wiggle it free with your controller? Oh. Dude, it's oh. like it's like wedged in there. Wedged in there. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm not good at this. I don't play baseball. Neither do I. We had some good throws on almost hitting the drone, but eventually our shoulders started getting tired. Our next idea was to strap the winch and try to see if we can wiggle it off the branch. After multiple attempts, it just didn't have enough juice. Our final idea was to strap a line on my rear hitch. Maybe then we'll have enough force to wiggle it off the branch. Okay, go forward. I think it's really in there. 
man. Let's keep doing that. Dude. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you had a video this one? It doesn't work right now. Oh. <laughs> it says it can't take off. Oh. So we gave it a few attempts and just when I was about to give up, a recovery strap snapped, which actually gave it enough force for my drone to finally fall from the tree. Hey, it's out! You got it! You got it. it worked! <laughs> With another sacrifice of the... <laughs> no. Yeah, it came off. <laughs> <laughs> I had to break. I had to. I had to destroy. Uh, you guys don't step on it. Don't step on the poop. I had to destroy my my strap just to get it. Yeah, that's on the way, right? I mean, how would you know? How many? How we're like the group that keeps killing those straps. <laughs> Whenever me or Steve is around, it's just always the strap is straps. broken. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Oh. What did I do? Yo, you climbed it, right? Yeah, you know, I just brought that down. You know. <laughs> Didn't get it on film, but whatever. No, no, it's on film. <laughs> I'll, I'll CGI it. <laughs> <I'm like, laughs> <laughs> Alright, strap is broken. <laughs> uh, at least we got it out. Propellers on the drone is all messed up now it's all good but yeah <laughs> this is actually the view that I'm trying to get but I can't really fly the drone right now the propellers are done and that's what you guys get <laughs> Yeah. Let's go. Shorter wheel base. Oh.
we finished the trail, aired down, and I'm actually on my way home now. All in all, the trip was actually successful and I enjoyed it a lot. Trail-wise, it was, uh, you know, it was a good ratio of uh, technical and easy trails. Uh, the technical parts had a little bit of a rocky parts of the trail that uh, was a moderate in, in some way in regards to like, uh, you know, like difficulty, I'd say moderate uh, to easy. Total actual trail time to get around the whole thing was about three hours, but uh, it became four hours in total because of the uh, drone recovery that we were doing. I'm definitely going to go back there again, uh, but this time I'm going to do the opposite way around from where we exited the mountain. We're going to enter that way next time. But yeah guys, that will do it for the video. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any future videos. Until next time guys, like always, stay awesome.